Welcome back to another video y'all. This time we're just gonna jump right into it. Look what is going on over here. That is Inori Arlist, and just like his character Little Mac, he appears to be taking a boxing stance while he's in this game. And you can see him there in the player cam kind of fainting in and out, I believe just trying to act like a boxer would. And you really don't see this every day in a Smash set, and I just found it super interesting, especially compared to what this other guy is doing. What's his name again? Snore? Okay, well that's rude, but I guess comparatively it is accurate. But unfortunately, cool points don't always translate to success, as we can see he's sent off stage by a weird getup attack, air dodges to his death, says, it's alright, I'm just gonna shake it out, come back better the next time. So here we are on his next stock, taking a lot of percentage, and just as a quick aside, if you ever forget how ridiculous of a game this is, check out this interaction. I don't know man, armored moves are just something else. But back to our list, more importantly, gets a little bit unsafe on shield, back thrown off stage, so not doing well so far. But hey, he's a boxer, you can make a comeback in the later round, so he gets a nice forward tilt, punishing the Bowser up B, finds a stock, not gonna get three stocked. But not getting three stocked is about the extent of it, this game at least, so gets the Bowser off stage, counter doesn't connect, gets the re-grab punish, and that'll be game one. Anori Arla's not too stressed though, he says, hey, I just gotta stretch it out, I gotta loosen up. But also in this camera angle, we can see he's just playing with Joy-Cons. He's just got a Joy-Con in each hand, he's really going for the whole boxer vibe and I am a huge fan of that and you can see here he's just still trying to stretch out he's gonna shake out a little bit get loose but something happens here that confuses me a little bit it turns out he's going boxer vibe the whole time but when he's picking a stage he turns into like a conductor or some kind of like maestro or something he makes a decision like that and I don't really get it but I'm not gonna question him because he's probably better than me with two joy cons playing little Mac so hey I'm scared of him but my fear aside, here we are going into game two. We can see he's down there in the player cam, still doing his feint, still moving around, good stuff. And jumping ahead a little bit, we can see here he gets hit with the Bowser up B, techs it on the platform, but immediately gets command grabbed. And this, unfortunately, just like his first stock in game one, also leads to an SD. And I imagine an Oriar list right here is thinking, you know what, I gotta act more like a boxer, right? So he's put in this same situation again, and he goes, you know what, boxers don't always get right up, sometimes they're down for the count. So we're at like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, gets up, command grabbed anyway, and he's dead. So at this point, things are looking a little rough for our boxing protagonist, but he does come back, finds a KO punch, even things up from a stocks perspective at least. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, you're playing Little Mac, and sometimes you get jabbed off stage and can't make it back. Disappointment for Arlist right there. Gives the fist bump. Good sportsmanship, though. But I don't want to end it there. I want to see our guy win. So here's another set, and this one also has a much better camera angle where we could see stuff like this, where he ends the rapid jab with an actual punch. But the stream quality for this set was a little bit rough, so I'm going to spare your eyes and just give you the gist of it. Ready? Arlist finds stock 1 with a nice KO punch on the platform, takes stock 2 with a simple F tilt, and takes stock 3 and the entire game by whiffing a side B into a spot dodge KO punch. That's game 1. So little Mac beats Kazuya confirmed, and we can see here Inori Arlist just getting himself hyped up between games, and I like that you can see in the cameras, he's pretty much the focal point in all three angles. But jumping into game 2 now, the opponent switched over to Terry, and Arlist actually gets off to a little bit of a hot start here, gets the F tilt for the kill. But unfortunately for him, jab jab power dunk. So both players on their second stock here, and once again, jab jab power dunk. Doesn't quite kill this time, but Arlist says, you know what, you deserve it, I'll kill myself. He's alright though, just stretches out, just trying to stay loose. Totally works here, just comes right back with the F smash, even stocks, even percent now. And Arlist has even got a little bit of a lead here, but gets grabbed, sent off stage, side B's too low, and those are just the hazards of playing with Joy-Cons. I don't know what else to say. And I'm a little sad during this stage pick that he didn't show the same pizzazz that he did in the previous set, but what he does in the next game, I think, kind of makes up for it. So here we are in a game three now, and you wouldn't expect it as a Little Mac player, but that top right platform does a lot of work for Arlist here. You can see up B's, lands on the platform, jumps up, up B's again, gets the kill. You don't really see Little Macs get that high normally, but that double up B wasn't the only thing that platform was good for. You can see he avoids the F smash there and then jabs him all the way into the blast zone. And you can tell here he's really feeling loose. I've been talking about it all video. He's just trying to get loose and you know he is right there. And closing out this game is no issue for Arliss. Gets the down smash on the rising tackle and that'll be it. 
And you know what? Sometimes you just got to show up to your local with your Joy-Cons, get your dub, and get out of there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to grab your Joy-Cons and KO punch my subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment too. Those things help out a lot. And if you're wondering why I said this would be your second favorite Little Mac, here's the answer. Peanuts the goat. Bye-bye.